Hey guys, I am so excited to do today's video because I have a really great product to show you. It's from the drugstore. It's Wet n Wild's new 100% vegan brushes. These are so gorgeous, you guys. They are 100% vegan, so there is nothing about these brushes that is made from animals in any way, shape, or form. And they are a beautiful white handle with a pink and white ombre bristles at the top. Just, just absolutely stunning. And very affordable. The eye brushes are 99 cents and the face brushes are $2.99 plus tax. But Oh my God, they are so beautiful. And on the brushes is right there. Can you see that? Can you see how there's like um, an indentation in the brush? And what that is, is you're supposed to put your finger there. So this make it makes it ergonomic, uh, which basically just means it's much easier to handle the brush because your finger just fits nicely in that little slot. And it says, it says wet and wild on the brush. My only criticism of these, and if this is the only bad thing I can say about them, then that's pretty darn good, is it would have been nice if they had said like the name of the brush on there. Like for example, this is the flat top brush, but it doesn't say that anywhere on the brush. But it, it's so gorgeous that they probably just didn't want to write anything on there other than wet and wild because it would make it look a little less pretty. They come in plastic packages like this and you may find them hanging on the shelf in the regular wet and wild section or you may find them on a special display somewhere else in the store usually where new products can be found. I purchased mine at, at Walgreens. I don't know if these are going to be carried at every place that sells Wet n Wild. My guess would be yes, but there really isn't any way of knowing that for sure. These are so new that they aren't even on the Wet n Wild website, at least not today, the day that I'm filming this video. They're not, but I'm sure they will be soon and then maybe we'll have more information. But yeah, I just tripped across these at a Walgreens. I wasn't even looking for them. I just happened to see one hanging in the regular section and the first one that I purchased was this large eye brush and I think this is meant to be used to apply shadow to the lids but I like it in the crease. The bristles are they're dense, but they're not super dense, but they're not so loose that you can't use the brush. Um, it just it, it just fits so nicely in that crease area, but there is a blending brush in the line, but I like this for the crease. There are 17 brushes in the line total, and again, I don't know if like any one given store is going to carry the entire line or if certain stores are going to carry certain brushes. So what happened was, I, I found this at a Walgreens, I purchased it, I brought it home, I washed it, the next day I used it, fell in love with it, and so I knew that that was the only brush that was hanging on the shelf at that Walgreens, so I went to a different Walgreens, and I got some more, and there was also a, um, there was also an angled eyeliner brush, I didn't get that because... I don't do my eyeliner that way anymore and I don't um, use an angled liner brush for my brows anymore. Um, so I didn't pick that one up. So those are the five that I've seen so far is a flat top brush, a foundation, a flat paddle style foundation brush, a small concealer brush, and a large eyeshadow brush. So I use the eyeshadow brush for my crease work. I use the small concealer brush for inner corner highlights 
or you could if you had a blemish this would be great for putting a little bit of concealer on a blemish there is a larger concealer brush in the line that I'll get if I can find it to do like under eye concealer this flat paddle type foundation brush I don't um, I, I put my foundation on now with a beauty blender sponge because I'm using the Maybelline Dream Wonder but what I use this for is highlight it works really well to just put the highlight on the tops of my cheekbones but there are highlighter brushes in the line I just haven't seen them yet and then this is just for um, powder products usually this would be to set your foundation with a powder but I um, am not setting this particular foundation with a powder but what I did was just to try it out I um, used a different foundation one day and then set it with a powder just so that I could try it out and so far these all work great when I wash them I don't lose any brush hairs when I wash them they maintain their shape after they dry they they're just I can't find anything bad about them I'm just amazed at how well they perform and how well they hold up and everything about them for the price now the one unanswered question at this point is how long will they last time will tell there's really no way of knowing that um, so I'll just have to you know hope for the best I guess because really I uh, would have to have them an awfully long time to be able to answer that question but they are absolutely gorgeous and for the price I am I was definitely willing to um, you know pick them up try them out and uh, see how it goes but I have a feeling that they are permanent as far as I know it didn't say anything about limited edition on the packaging and I'm pretty sure that these are part of Wet n Wild's new permanent products for 2016 and um, I hope that I come across some others I might have to go to some other Walgreens to get more because I just I really love these they're just so gorgeous I mean I've never seen anything like this now Wet n Wild did have some brushes that came out last year that had some color to them but the quality wasn't good they didn't hold up and they weren't vegan so these are a huge huge improvement over the ones that came out last year but they're just they're so pretty and and I really do like the ergonomic factor where you have that indentation to put your finger it is very comfortable to um, use them that way so I think that is it that's all the information I have I wish I could tell you you know it, which stores were gonna carry them or are any of the stores gonna have the full line at some point I did speak to some employees at Walgreens and they really didn't have any additional information to tell me but um, yeah so I just wanted to show you these as soon as possible because I think they're gonna be difficult to find because at that price point I think everybody's gonna want to try them but I do really love them and um, that's it so I'll see you next time thanks so much for watching bye